All new, Oprah goes back in time. 400 years. Forget the simple life. Turn off the camera. This is the tough life. No makeup, no phones, no toilets, no... Panties? Oprah, like you've never seen her. There's lots of chicken poop in here. What did she get herself into? I am not gonna survive if a rat falls on my face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Next. on the air, I thought I had just about done everything, seen everything, <laughs> talked to everybody. Then came uh, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I just couldn't resist this because I was given the chance to travel 400 years back in time. And I had sort of an idea what I was in for because I was raised in rural Mississippi, so I thought... <laughs> that was very much back in time. <laughs> And so you don't want to go back in time by yourself, so I talked my friend Gail into this adventure, <laughs> who was not raised in rural Mississippi, but was brought up with a housekeeper and uh, a swimming pool, so. <laughs> and she reluctantly agreed to do this because she's a very good friend. <laughs> and this is all part of an all-new PBS series called Colonial House. And believe me, it takes reality TV to a whole nother level. Forget the simple life with Nicole in Paris. This was, uh, this was the tough life with Oprah and Gail. Take a look at where we're going. I think colonial life was all about pilgrims, Thanksgiving, and freedom for all. No! Think again. Stop it! Just stop it! We're living in 1628. You're a woman. I'm a woman. We are at the bottom of the ladder, and that's the way it is. At a remote colony in Maine, 26 people went back in time to 1628 to find what life was really like the hard way. Oh, I can't do this stupid job! No running water, no electricity, no toilets, and, of course, no refrigerators. Oh! oh I can make you vomit. <laughs> Did that look disgusting? What did that look like breakfast? The hardest adjustment, learning to live under a strict 17th century code of conduct. Women have to keep their heads covered as a sign of submission. Profanity, blasphemy, and modesty laws are strictly enforced. And it is forbidden to miss Sabbath Welcome. services, although some ignore that law. And pay the price. You could be tied to a stake forced to wear the scarlet letter, all forms of public humiliation. You talk about the simple life. There's nothing simple about the simple life. It's hard work. Mm, so good thing we didn't know all that before we left. <laughs> okay. Our trip back in time began with a cross-country flight to the very tip of Maine, followed by, nobody told us this either, a four-hour car ride to the colony, and we didn't have a clue what we were in for until we met the people who were in charge. Howdy. It's been a long ride, so I was in the back seat. Yeah, okay. nice, nice to see, to see you. you. When Welcome. Oprah asked me if I wanted to go with her, what I do remember is thinking, I'm not really that interested in going back to the pioneer days. I had to talk Gail into it. I said, actually, it would be a tremendous learning experience for you. And I think you'd have a good time. <laughs> the first place we had to go was the PBS briefing house. And there, you were going to get your costume, and you were going to get the story. What year is this? What year are we? 1628. Whoa, boy. So it's very, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're going back 400 years here. Oh. So, um... That don't sound good for me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was the 1800s. I went back 200 years farther than I had expected. There were very few black people in the colonies in 1628. Slavery was you know, yet was to happen. I didn't know what to expect. You know, I just thought if some racial thing gets thrown down, then I'm gonna be out of here. Shoot, I ain't playing that. I know one thing, I ain't gonna be no slave. 
can tell you that right now. In my mind, I'm thinking, are there black people at this place? We have had, had two, two African Americans in the project. Yeah. They both yeah. left okay. for personal reasons. Oh, bro. The black people left for personal reasons. <laughs> <laughs> So what's going to be the reaction in the colony? Are they armed? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. When they say you're going back, 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 they weren't kidding. And their definition of the toilet was a, a pot. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what you go to the bathroom in. Doesn't have a lid? No. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> I grew up with what we called in our house the slop jar. And I used to have to empty the slop jar every morning. <laughs> and back then, they just... toilet my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> but I think for my friend Gail, it was a, a revelation. I'm a room service girl, so the thought of roughing it was not even kind of fun to me. OK. <laughs> what about toilet paper? How does that work? Uh, it doesn't. There wasn't any. So how do you? How yes. does one clean oneself? I think one cleans <laughs> oneself. <laughs> one, <laughs> one, <laughs> one cleans oneself with leaves or rags. Oh my God. There you go. <laughs> No, really, leaves? Yeah. Are you kidding? No, leaves? I think you might have you know, I should have asked more about this project yeah. before I came. <laughs> wow. It's a lots of different things to put on. It was the beginning of Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Jeez, guys, are these supposed to close? Couldn't have been a lot of sex going on. You gotta get out of this thing. There's no privacy and no toilet paper. <laughs> That would eliminate a whole lot of intimate activities. <laughs> Looks like both of them. Things are on the wrong feet. Well, Gail, you're looking cute. You're looking like Heidi. <laughs> These clothes were not designed, obviously, for yeah, comfort yeah. or for <laughs> making you look attractive. Tell me again why we can't wear panties. When we were told that we had to remove our panties, versus like, ugh. Oh, OK, there are no bras, and there were no panties. Oh. When did bloomers come along? I think that's more 18th century. All these years, century. women did not have panties? No Victoria, nor secret. <laughs> what happens with no panties during that time of the month? Oh! <laughs> I don't think it had ever occurred to me that there was a period of time where women didn't wear panties. Did you remove your panties? Not yet. I still have my panties on. I'm holding on to the last minute. <laughs> I just started thinking in my mind, oh, God, are you sure you want me to go? I mean, aren't you supposed to go by yourself? <laughs> Isn't it liberating? Yes. Woo! Feel the breeze. I'm free. OK. The PBS producers told us it's good to go to the colony bringing something. So they gave us burlap bags with ham, a block of cheese and some sugar. We came bearing gifts so that they would be happy to see us. We're up without our pennies. <laughs> Good gracious. Bye, you guys. I like it. Good luck. Here we go. OK, so we had no pennies, no bras. No panties, no bras, and no idea about what was coming next. We looked the part. <laughs> it was time to see if the colonists were ready for African-American pilgrims. We were really nervous about that. Take a look. Oh, boy. Don't you feel a little nervous? I feel a little stupid with two O's. <laughs> <laughs> the producers drop us off, and then they say, just keep straight, and it's over the hill, and keep going. So we're literally on our own. I'm really glad you're here, because I would be turning around if I was by myself right now. Why don't you do the talking, because you're the friendly one. I said, hi. <laughs> hi. We're two black girls in the neighborhood. <laughs> Are we going to walk in there, and they're going to go, ho, oh, black people, slaves. I, I don't know how we're going to be received, or whether they're going to throw us out, or use the N-word. God forbid. What's going to happen? Oh, my god. I think those are the houses. <laughs> What, that shed? I see this, like, pile of wood, and I think, oh, my goodness, that is where we're going to have to spend the night. It's just like this big hunk of wood. <laughs> no way. No way. Come on. It really is true, that saying, the fear of the unknown. You know, it would be different if we had some idea about what we were walking into. But we really didn't. Guess we didn't want to park the car any closer, huh? <laughs> want to get into the spirit of things. 
Oh, look, 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 look at the people standing. Look, where? See where the people all the people there? are. Oh, God. That's blasphemous. Okay. We could be tied to a pole for that. Way, 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 way in the distance, you can see people gathering, and you can see that they're excited, but is it a good excited or is it bad excited? I really don't know. Oh, oh Lord, have mercy. Oh, God. They're looking like, who are these people? The thing that I was most worried about is being considered an outcast or being rejected in some way. Come on, let's go. I'm actually feeling a little nervous. So my heart started to pound as we're going in, like, what on earth was I thinking? They may not recognize you. And Oprah's thinking, you don't think I look like me? I go, do you think you look like Oprah Winfrey at this moment? Well, you don't. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, my goodness. Hello. Oh, my God, it's Oprah. Good to see you. How are you? And Gail's here, too which I just thought was so funny because I didn't think we looked like ourselves. That cracked me up because I thought no one's gonna recognize her. And I'm thinking I look like a man with a bonnet. Hello. Hi. Hello. That was my reaction. We're looking for the governor. You're the governor. Hello, governor. Happy to meet you. Hello, how do you do? Oh, please not Oprah Winfrey, Yes, it is. They were really, really knocked out to see us. That was very touching to me. We got ham and cheese. We got ham and cheese. Oh, You're always welcome. <laughs> you are both disturbingly clean. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? We smell the soap on you. We smell like Fresh. soap. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mean this in a bad way, but you can't help but notice the people were really dirty. I mean, their hair was dirty, their skin was dirty, their teeth were dirty, but they didn't smell. I was very glad about that. The frightening thing is we can smell people who come in. Oh, wow. A long way away. This one guy came and he like physically oh, smelled yeah, me to yeah, say, oh, yeah. you smell so good. I'm like, okay, nice to meet you. And you are? Did you know we're looking for a place to stay? Yeah, so I heard. Did you hear? Uh, why don't you just stay uh, <laughs> in our house for a moment? How long have you all been here? Four long months. Four long. very long months. <laughs> Governor, do you have room for us tonight? We do, we do. We're I nice. think right. the loft at the Voorhees' house would probably be your most comfortable experience. Thank Carolyn, you. we don't have to sleep in the same bed, do we? No. No. We have two mattresses. Not do that. You'll we be adjacent. Yeah, mattresses. let's have two We have two separate mattresses, right? Yeah, yeah. so I don't want to yeah, sleep yeah. in the same bed with Yeah, well, I don't want to no. sleep with you either. <laughs> <laughs> the, the I don't want to sleep with you either. either. I, I would I sit in a chair rather than sleep with you. Michelle will be your hostess tonight. Oh, You'll sleep really? In her Thank you. Oh, yeah. And the people Very who are there are going to be happy to sleep elsewhere. Are you giving up your bed? I am giving up my bed well, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You can thank sleep in my bed anytime. Okay. Interesting. Huh? The junior family survive as colonists. Well, this fascinating reality series called Colonial House, premieres tonight on PBS and runs through May 25th. And what they did was they just took average American families who submitted their applications, maybe after watching this, it's something you want to do with your family, and maybe not. <laughs> we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Coming up. Does this 2% skim? <laughs> Gail has a close encounter she'll never forget. And the moment I'd been dreading. Could you just turn off the cameras, please? More Colonial House in a moment. when my best friend Gail and I traded in our high heels for uh, boots and bonnets and went back 400 years in time uh, in a lifetime adventure uh, created by PBS. It's an exact replica of a 17th century colony. And let me tell you, the simple life is nothing compared to this. No bathrooms, no running water, no bras, no panties. <laughs> when Gail and I arrived, the other colonists had already been there for four long months. I'm wondering if you might like the quick tour yeah. of our lifestyle. Yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, goats are cute. Goats are very cute. Well, are you don't eat the goats, do you? Well, no, because we use them for milk. So you're going to milk these goats now? Yes. All of them. All yes. six of them. I want to see Gail milk the goats first. <laughs> I have no experience whatsoever with farm animals. And quite frankly, I'm very proud of that. I never thought I'd see Gail milk a goat. You can tell that it's like, 
I don't want to hold it thingy. Now, how do you know when we're done, Dad? You think that you just go in there and tug, but you really can't get milk out that way. Did you know that? Well, this rate, you'll get some milk Thursday. Does this 2% skin? <laughs> <laughs> Two squeezes. Okay, hey, Gail's got it. Oprah, are you ready? She liked doing the goat thing. She got that down. Okay, woo! Get that milk what? coming down. Whoa. She was actually able to fill up a couple of buckets. I could never do that. Growing up as a kid, I used to go to the hog pens. We used to call it slopping the hogs. Yeah, pig, 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 yeah, pig. The smell gets a bit overwhelming in there. No, it's okay. Seriously. <laughs> you get you get used to it. Yeah, you get used to it. Yeah, pig, 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 pig. You've grown so much. Okay. Kind of got a whiff of it right there. Yeah, it's disgusting. It takes uh -huh. a whiff of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember hogs smelling like that when I was a kid. <laughs> Aren't you amazed at how much it takes to cook? It takes a lot to cook. It takes a lot to clean. And 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 women, the women, are you working constantly? Constantly, constantly. We're not there you go. Oh, no. Okay, well I'll let you do it since you're the servant. What's our eating schedule? Well, this is oh, the best right. diet, Oprah, because there's no snacking. It takes so long to prepare everything that you yeah. just can't prepare a snack in a short amount of time. You can't reach into a cupboard and grab something That's and unwrap true. the wrapper. You have to make an investment of time, seriously, if you want to eat. So we've all lost a considerable amount of weight since we've been really? here. The only snack there is is prunes, and those are valuable. Yeah. So those are valuable. Prunes, prunes are our currency. Prunes yeah. and beer. You get seven a week. Seven prunes. Per head. And it's like, oh, prunes, you know. I can't wait till Friday we get our prune rations. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I know. Come on, wait. Just prunes. This are is the diet exciting. plan I've been looking for. Some of the colonists gave us the lowdown on colonial life, and trust me, it wasn't pretty. Women worked all the time. Thank you for your hospitality and yeah, letting us in. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, this is delish. <laughs> That's good. What year? What year might this be? It's 1927 <laughs> <laughs> Bordeaux. It's a good one. <laughs> well, is it good? Is it's held up well. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> I don't know why everybody went alcoholic, because at the end of the day, you needed any kind of fermented grape you could find. I dealt with the flies, the hogs, the goats. I mean, you are completely exhausted at the end of a day. Every day you're here, your standards become lower and lower. In, In terms, terms of what? You, what you'll eat, what you'll drink, what you'll do. <laughs> yeah. It's a continuing spiral. What you'll eat, so yeah. what you'll you drink, drop what you'll food do. on the, in the sand, you know, they pick it up, wipe it off, and eat it. Keep sure. going. Yeah, after, after 17 weeks, you just pick the flies out of your water and your wine. This is the way people actually had to live. And God only knows if your cup was washed or what it was washed in. You don't have mice here, do you? No. Oh, well, funny enough, well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's take a look at the Because if you actually want the truth, uh, Michelle found uh, mouse poop on her butter dish for the last three mornings. Well, mice droppings in the butter, that's a problem. Where does one go to the bathroom when one goes? Um, in the woods. Just wherever you want to? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. When nature calls, you got to move with nature. And. <clears throat> I'm afraid nature cold. And you just kind of go like this. Yeah, on the on pot. On the pot, and you go. You. Okay. I promise. It's it's horribly awkward. You sort of drip dry. Drip dry. <laughs> I knew I wasn't doing that. I'm not very nimble. <laughs> Where's your spot? In the hole on the way there. You have to pick leaves. So we would pick some leaves. Oh yo yo. These are probably the biggest you're gonna get. These are the biggest leaves we're gonna get. But Emily, what happens in the middle of the night? You don't come out here in the middle of the night. Uh, you, you try not to number two in the middle of the night. No, and you usually don't. Okay, there you go. That's a nice size for you. Yeah. And try and to make sure there's not a bug on it. So. Oh, my oh, that's oh my goodness. I can assure you that you're not like, could you get me the whiter green leaf, or could you, you just, whatever is available. I find the big leaves are the best. Yes, get two or three of those bad boys, and you're really OK. Em, there are no snakes, right? <laughs> just squat die. and go. And use just the leaves. And, and use then there's the some leaves. dirt, and you just cover it. You cover it with the dirt. Em, thank you for that. <clears throat> Education. OK, I'm just going to go pee in the bushes now. Could you just? 
take turn off the cameras, please. I'm gonna go pee in the bushes. You have, Excuse me. You have a leaf. You need leaf. Here, something. here, this is a good and one. And I personally always follow. Do you need one leaf or two? I need about three. <laughs> one day, you know, She's throwing a party for Quincy Jones, which is a lovely affair in Beverly Hills. And the next day, you're peeing in the leaves. Hey, hey, hey. There I am in the woods. See ya. Hiking up my dress in the bushes. Hey, uh, it's come to this. Turn off my mic. <laughs> Coming up, when you share a one-room cabin with five other people, as these families had done for four months, how do you get your groove on? Or whatever. <laughs> the intimate details of colony life. We'll be, we'll be back. explain this. When you go back in time nearly 400 years, you leave behind a few of the luxuries. As I said before, no panties, no bras, no toilets, no running water. It's the ultimate reality series. Can 26 people from 2004 survive life in 1628? Well, they did for four months. We did for a much shorter period of time. <laughs> Gail and I gave it our best shot. Our hosts, John and Michelle, fill us in on some of the more intimate details of living colonial style. Take a look. So how does one bathe? I've actually taken to jumping in the ocean and going yeah, for a swim. swim. That's the thing. You jump in the ocean and swim. And I, and I bathe every night. You know, just but all you guys are in here together, right? Five yeah. of us, yeah. So how do you maintain marital relations as a couple? A lot of that going on. A lot of it? Not a lot. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> quietly. <laughs> very quietly. <laughs> you Can't you hear everything that's going on in every other... Oh, every... yeah, the walls. Oh, yeah. I, know. I listen to Don and Carolyn and across the way, he'll be asking her something and she won't know the answer and half the time I'll answer from across the street, you know, and that's how sad it is around here. <laughs> I don't know how they did it for four months. Now what time is it? It's so weird not knowing what time it is. No it's I'm just so I'm feeling yeah, sleepy. Are know. you feeling sleepy? Bonfire started. Bonfire okay. started. <laughs> It's now dark. What are we going to do? Do we go to bed? It's going to be a long night. Let's head down by the campfire and let's meet our neighbors and have a little hole dance. Five, six, seven, go. One, two, three, together. Back, two, three, together. <laughs> We're dancing the, I guess it's the whole dance of the clap, clap, step, step thing. <laughs> and her partner. <laughs> we were down. <laughs> <laughs> she forgets to make the turn. Dominic, you're not supposed to throw me on the ground. Sorry. You flung her a little too far there, fella. <laughs> Ooh, very okay, strong. Okay, call this. Let's try this one more time. Okay, this dance is a competition between the men and women, between who can yell the loudest and who can jump the highest. Men! Women! Men! 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 men, men, men. Men! Women, women, women! Two to the left and two to the right. Oh. Okay. okay. Yeah. Dancing in colonial town. That was good. I think my goopies just jumped up out of my thing. <laughs> good night, everyone. Thank you. Okay. That ate up an hour. We only have uh, 10 more hours to go. <laughs> we ended up staying with a family and their 11 year old son. Not the easiest ladder I ever saw. Jeez. Hey, I made that ladder. Oh, it's a very beautiful Thank ladder. You, Do not shoot under my skirt. I mean, that is a trip. I mean, just trying to get yourself to bed at night and hoping all the people down underneath you are not looking up your dress. Oh, God. Once I get my ass up here, I ain't coming. Oh, I can be blasphemed or something. <laughs> I can get a That's scarlet right. letter. We are That's there. not blasphemy, but you do earn a letter for that, Oprah. Yeah, she should be tied to the stake. <laughs> Gail, you had better not tell the governor. governor. <laughs> she said a swear word. John and Michelle are letting us use their loft for tonight. And it's been a very long and extensive day, and I'm ready to go to bed. Say good night, Gracie. Yeah. <laughs> good night, Gracie. Yeah. 
have been tied to the state. So the entire weekend was unexpected. There were more uh, surprises to come. We'll be right back. Back in a moment. Coming up. Mm, no, I don't think I'll be spending another night here. What had Gail and I packing our bags and ready to come back to the future? Gail and I took a trip back in time nearly 400 years ago on PBS for their series that opens tonight. After a cold, rainy night, a 3 a.m. squat in the bushes and some other little surprises, we woke up with our bunkmate. This is where we slept. This is Giacomo. Say good morning, Giacomo. Morning. He's thinking, okay, I'm 11, and Oprah Winfrey's in my bed. There's Giacomo. It's me. And there's Gail over there. Hello. Gail, say hello to the people. Hello. We had a really good night. I did have to get up and pee. I think it was about 3 o'clock. Did you hear the rain last night? Oh, yeah. It was wonderful. Yeah, I thought it was sure. rain, and it was raining on the roof. It was really wonderful, the sound of the rain on the roof. Gail thought she heard something else on the roof. No, no, no. It did. wasn't Gail thought. Gail heard some little teeny tiny monkey feet running on the roof. I know it was mice. Yeah. That's very frightening. I couldn't go back to sleep after that. You couldn't. Oh, yes. I hear this pitter patter. Just the sound of a mouse is frightening to me. They have a very, very distinct sound. It's not like a squirrel, it's not like a bird because they run super, super, super duper fast. And that's how you can tell it's a little micey feet. So I just put my head under the covers because I think I am not gonna survive if a rat falls on my face. I went with my mommy. This girl is like, okay, when is it gonna be light? <laughs> Did you sleep in your glasses? I was afraid to take them <laughs> off. <laughs> Didn't know where to put them. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get up and do our... Uh... Chores. We gotta get chores in our go do chores. Our Just like done. we do at home. <laughs> okay, I want to be a helpful house guest. I don't want them to talk about us when we leave. We gotta figure out how to get this damn corset on. Are we having a good time yet? Is that bacon? Yep. Get a scarlet letter for lack of modesty if you don't have this thing on. I'm going to pay for God's sake. Goodness sake. Imagine having to do this every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's refreshing. It is. It's cold. Just like your tub at home. Nothing like having two cameras watch you bathe. Very attractive, isn't it? Because there are no mirrors, heaven only knows what we look like. No, it's not like it was so funny because Gail goes, yeah, you should see yourself. Well, Curious you ain't the prettiest thing I've seen lately either. And then you're supposed to rub it on your teeth. Michelle, how do you do the licorice stick? They said just chew on it. Chew the end because it, it's kind of fibrous. Mm -hmm. And you just rub. Morning, Okay. Em. Yeah, it's kind of like Sonicare. And you know what? <laughs> Chew those leaves you have in your hand, too, and it'll give you a nice breath fresher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these, are, these are my pea leaves. This is my toilet paper. So far, it's the mice and the brushing of the teeth. I don't like it. They say the mice only came four days ago, though, because it's getting cold, and the mice are looking for a place to stay. My bed shouldn't be it. No, I don't. I think I'll be spending another night here. Whatever you want. So mice, I won't be able to, I'll be traumatized by the mice. If a mice runs over my face, I will have to have psychological help. <laughs> Not even Dr. Phil could help me. Okay, I'm here to help. I went out and by the time I came back, Oprah was already frying the bacon. Gail comes in like this is the Bel Air Hotel. Please make mine extra crispy. This is in a restaurant. That's how I ordered when I'm at the hotel for room service. Well, honey, we are in an open fire <laughs> in a big black iron skillet. It's smoking, we're coughing. I was afraid of catching myself on fire. Yeah, I thought it'll be extra crispy for you, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the flies this morning. Oh, yeah. You go to sit down to eat, and there 
not just some flies, but there's a blanket of flies. They're all over everything, everybody. Apparently there are accounts of colonists literally going crazy from the insects. Is that the food we're going to be eating that the flies are all over? Mm -hmm. Yes, unfortunately. It's okay, yes. If the flies, if it's good enough for the flies, I figure it's good, it's good enough, enough for me. Good enough for you? Yeah. You ever swallowed a fly? And I went to drink some water and this fly went right down my throat and it was just so disgusting. <laughs> I have to say, I was a little grossed out by the flies. They were literally covering everything that was on your plate. Uh, Michelle, thank you for preparing, preparing this great breakfast. You are very welcome. It started at the crack of dawn. Very much. <laughs> now do you understand, we, we, do you understand better why it took women so long to get liberated? There's no time for liberation. No. Mm, okay. Delish. So what is interesting to me about the whole thing is Every day, those who came before us, our uh, forebearers, dealt with that and a hundred times more. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Coming up, it's making me a little sick. Hold on. The moment that almost made me lose my lunch. Our trip back in time continues next. Day two of our trip back 400 years ago to 1628 with Gail King. It's a series sponsored by PBS. We live like pilgrims for that new PBS reality series. It's called Colonial House, which starts tonight. And we're here to tell you that just ordinary day-to-day -day living was utterly exhausting. That's part of the whole idea, is to get a sense of appreciation for everybody who has become before us. Because after the grueling task of preparing a fly-infested breakfast, it was time for a day of never-ending chores. The chores don't end. This is Sunday morning. I've already um, washed the dishes with this disgusting rag and the dirty situation with the dishwasher thing. I kind of got a taste of the pioneer life. I got it. I got the whole picture. I got the fact that things are dirty a lot. You just kind of have to get used to the smell. You have to get used to being in close quarters, but the sense of community is terrific. Do the men leave early in the morning? They do. Mm -hmm. They leave very early and they work very long days. They're chopping logs for firewood to store up for the winter. For several weeks, they were building our home, mm -hmm. which was incredible to watch. And that just was the backbreaking. Role of the women, Debbie. You just sort of have to uh, obey and do and stay and cook right. Right. all day long. Yeah. Yeah, it's very Make sure tedious. Happy. When's the last time you washed your hair? Probably oh. 10 weeks. Oh boy, you're gonna love a good shampoo. Can't wait. You've been here how long? Uh, three months. And uh, probably washed my clothes about two times, I think. In about two times, time. in yeah, all that yeah. time. Uh -huh. and was that clean when you started? It's dead clean and it's all ripped. You see, as a servant, we're cooking for all these people. I don't have time to wash my own clothes. I wash everybody else, but not mine. Uh -huh. How many meals do you do a day? I do three a day <laughs> uh, for four men, and they're kind of the hungriest guys in the colony. It takes four hours to cook, uh, two minutes to eat, and then you've got to heat up the water and do the dishes. Everything takes such a long time. Oh my God, the plight of women. And what is so interesting to me is that the work that we saw the women in the colonial house perform on a daily basis is what most women do around the world today. Part of my job when I was growing up with my grandmother was to go to the chicken coop, get the eggs. Except that, as a kid, all the chickens were my friends. We better give you the rooster beating stick. Oh, really? You can just pick up a stick because the rooster gets vicious sometimes. OK, <laughs> you take the rooster. Uh, the uh, I'm going to protect you. Okay. And you can lean in and get the eggs. Oh, man, is this disgusting? Oh, my goodness. Ugh. I get the girls going. There's lots of chicken poop in here. I mean, fresh chicken poop. It's making me a little sick. Hold on. <laughs> Makes me sick every day. OK, let's take a deep breath. <gasps> You're going in. I oh, just put my hand in a bunch of chicken poop. It's very. <sighs> so. And I get the job of cleaning this out, too. You have to clean this out? I'm thinking, did our chickens poop this much when I was growing up? 
Please Sweet forgive me getting up and down, but I'm tending a cobbler. So. Yes, and we'll a have cobbler. cobbler. Blueberry cobbler <laughs> for dessert. Oh my God. God. It's really nice to come in and to yeah. get a sense of what you guys yeah. are going through. And I think an appreciation mm -hmm. of what all of our ancestors had to do. Yeah. Because yeah. for the most part, I only think about my own yeah. and what yeah. they had to endure right. yeah. in terms of slavery. I so never even thought about the colonists. I, I really. never think yeah, about the course. colonists. Never thought you know? about And so without the colonists, there would be none of us. But I do think that as an African American, this would be an unbearable thing. Yeah. As the weekend unfolded, what we couldn't figure out is where would the black people be in that particular time? The truth of the matter is, we wouldn't have been sitting at this table. Mm, exactly. Season. We right. wouldn't have been sitting right. at the table, 1628. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know how seriously you guys were taking yeah. it, having been born 1954 in Mississippi. I realized that 1954 in Mississippi wasn't a whole lot different than colonial America, let me tell you. Yeah, Beautiful, okay. and then you just pull it off. Right. This is called a can opener. Oh, yeah. This is a pig trotter. This does. Mm -hmm. Pig trotter. Pig trotters, yeah. <laughs> Would you like a pig no, trotter? Thanks. Gail was like barely hanging on and way ready to go. I could tell. She's, she's not a roughing it girl at all. Whoa. You know what I learned about myself? I'm a very good watcher. You know, I like to stand back and just watch people and make sure they're having a good time. Coming up, one last meal with the colonists turns into a very special moment. Back in a moment. Gail and I wanted out. We wanted out. We'd had enough of this pilgrim life. It smells, it's hard. You can't wear any underwear. You, you start to feel really icky. So for our last meal with the colonists, a 15-year-old girl named Maddie, hi, Maddie, wanted to give us a special send-off. Take a look. Now you're having your evening meal at our house, and Madison has really kind of come up with a cool recipe. Surprise, just for you. What's in there? Right now, now I'm getting out some ingredients so we can start our cake. Three eggs. Three eggs. Well, they're just like chickens back home. Who knew? We thought we'd be cooking for Oprah, but she came and cooked for us. Just came from the sugar I brought, yes. right? Yes, thank you so much for You're your You're so kids. welcome. I didn't even know I was doing that. <laughs> Being with David and Debbie and Tony, Emily, and Maddie as a family really took me back to my own early days of living with my grandmother. This is prunes, our last summer prunes, and hazelnuts. You're using all your prunes for this week? Yeah, my personal prunes will be used for this week. Thank you, Maddie, for sharing your prunes. <laughs> Never thought I'd hear that. The whole process of everybody has to work together in no, order to create and build our meal. It was really special. We're mm -hmm. making a cake. We're gonna with love the ours. eggs from the chickens the that eggs you collected. From the chickens with the goat's milk from the goats that we squeeze the teats. <laughs> there you go. With the seven prunes rationed to you. They wanted to give us a treat. And you're speaking my language when you say cake, whether you're talking 1628 or 2004. I love cake. Now we're gonna go up the road. We're going up the road to put our cake in the oven. Now, this is a real treat to get to cook your cake in the oven. It is? Because it takes a long time to heat up the oven, and they just happen to be heating it today. This is just their cake for this wonderful food, and thank you that we could have these guests here. When you sit down at the table to then share that meal, there is a fullness, a wholeness, a feeling of worth and value and appreciation. There's our cake. You know, when it cooks in an oven made of clay, <laughs> this is about as good as it gets. That this is the deal. Good. We can call it a flat cake. A prune flat cake. It's a prune flat cake. That's what it is. Because we, that's what <laughs> we're trying to With do. almond oh. buttery sauce. Exactly. With an almond buttery sauce. It's now a prune flat cake. That was one of the most special meals I've ever had. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. We'll be right back. Coming up, our emotional goodbye. Bye, Oprah. So, who would have thought saying goodbye to chicken poop, mice, and flies would be so hard? Uh, thank you. Bye. 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 It's so nice to meet a nice colonial family. We came on a high note, and we left on an even higher note. 
because we met some really nice people and had a really good time. I felt a, a sense of, I guess, wistful sadness in leaving, and knowing that they still had more time. Bye. It was sad when we left. Even though we'd been there a short time, I thought we bonded with them very, very well. Bye, Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Some of them cried when we left, only because for, for us being there, it represented a piece of home to them. The experience of seeing a community of people working, striving, struggling, being challenged, but still working together one hand with another hand was one of the most valuable experiences I've ever had. These flowers? I left with a, such a, a sense of uh, wonder and amazement at what our forebears were able to accomplish with so little and how hard that was to not only live and exist but to thrive and bring forth others who would also thrive. It is a part of what helps you understand where you come from. Not just come from, but come up, out of, and through in order to be here. Fantastic, PBS, thank you. We'll be right back. for inviting us to their 1628 Colony Colonial House premieres tonight on PBS from 8 to 10 Eastern and runs through May 25th. I personally think it's a great series. Those of you who love reality TV, it's reality with a purpose. And I think it's great to watch with your own family so that you and your family get a sense of appreciation of what other people have been through to make our lives possible. It is really good stuff. Thanks for watching. See you on after the show. See you again on after the show. See ya. Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. Subscribe to the own channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.